Now, Nana, I know that, that you have written a lot of songs just strumming a guitar. What did you do differently this time instead of just strumming a guitar and, and coming up with, oh, this is a good chord, let's do a song around this? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think I picked up my guitar at all during this album. Um, so it was mostly just using, you know, the laptop and kind of um, building the songs in that way of just using different sounds or just, you know, yeah, just playful. Being playful. Yeah. Having a good time. Having now, I know, time. That, uh, I know that, I know that, I guess both of you uh, were we're looking at a book about myth, about travel. Uh, what did that do to the way you thought about uh, either this album or what you were facing in the, the year ahead? Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, you're talking about... Uh, Joseph of, Campbell's yeah. The Power of Myth and the idea that there is one main myth that runs through all of music and all through literature and through your lives when you got in the back of a station wagon for the drive to Florida over three oh. days, and that's the travel myth, that's the idea of searching and seeking and traveling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's like a song called Wild Roses that um, is pretty inspired by, by that. And um, the whole, um, you know, being open to change and how, like, you have to take risks to, to be able to get to the next chapter, you know? Um, this is kind of a trivial question, but I've made a study of of artists who have used exclamations in songs, like Bruce Springsteen, one of the masters of going, ha! Huh! <laughs> Warren Zevon, if Warren Zevon doesn't have one of those in his songs, I'm always suspect. I wanna know when you were recording Alligator, if those were inspired by the moment, your ha! Huh! Yeah. No, Cause I there just, are a couple of great ones in there. Yeah. No, I just had a cold. I was sneezing all the time. <laughs> all right. Well, we we would. You'd love to hear them play some music, wouldn't you? All right. Before you start, how do you say of monsters and men in Icelandic? Af <laughs> skrimsli um, <laughs> Right? You, okay, that's good, yeah. I was going to do it differently, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to do it? Um, no, yours is right. I'm, I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, of all the questions I've asked, of all the bands and all the gin joints in the world, I never thought that would be the tough one. <laughs> uh, well, with that knowledge, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome live from Studio X of Monsters and Men. Yeah. 